So which jump rope is best for you? Is it a speed rope or is it a freestyle rope? You're going to be finding out in this video. Hey, what's up? Leon here, helping you get better, faster at jumping rope. And here on this channel, we do a lot of jump rope tricks tutorials, as well as jump rope reviews and how to jump rope test tutorials. So if you're new to this channel and are really looking to take your jump rope game from zero to one, strongly consider subscribing to this channel. So which jump rope should I use? This is one of the most common problem people have, especially when they're starting to jump rope. It actually even hunts them because you have all those different types of jump rope that have different benefits, different types of usage. And the person in the middle is just like, what do I get? I can't get all types of jump ropes. So this video's goal is to get you to really understand, okay, I want to get a freestyle rope or I need to get a speed rope. So I'd like to start this by really understanding why is a freestyle rope an, act, an actual freestyle rope. So you can see here, I'm currently using the Elite Series freestyle rope and it has longer handles than your average jump rope. It has longer handles because when you freestyle, you do a lot of crossing movements and having longer handles is going to help you get this extra reach you need so that you can do any crossing motions with less movement. Freestyle jump rope also usually have thicker plastic so that they don't break because very often you have to throw freestyle jump ropes around and they're gonna fall on the ground they're gonna hit the ground so they usually have thicker handles a freestyle skipping rope also has a medium size liquorous cable it's not one of those bulky cables you have in heavy ropes and it's not one of those like really thin metallic cables you usually have with the speed ropes it's somewhere in the middle and this cable is a perfect compromise between speed and actually feedback from the weight of the rope. Freestyle ropes also don't have any swivel system you would usually have in speed ropes. And that's because when you don't have a swivel system, it gives you more control over the direction and the speed of the jump rope. Especially when you're doing tricks, you're going to have to very quickly alternate the direction and the speed of the cable when, when you're doing any trick. So that's what makes a freestyle jump rope a freestyle jump rope. So let's put the freestyle cable to test. Now for the speed rope, you can very clearly notice the difference. Just check out the difference, it's like two different entities. The speed jump rope usually has a smaller handle and those shorter handles are going to help you keep the tip of the rope where the cable rotates as close as possible to the center of your body or the center of gravity of your body. This is just going to help you rotate the rope faster with less effort. A speed jump rope also has a much lighter plastic than your freestyle jump rope. And that's because usually when you do speed, you don't want your forearms or your shoulder to tire after like 20 seconds. You're trying to train on speed, so the longer you can last, the better. That's why you usually have lighter handles for speed ropes. You also have a swivel system, just like we talked about before, in a speed rope. This allows the rope to rotate with much less friction it usually would if it didn't have the swivel system. So it brings back to the idea of being able to rotate the rope faster with less energy. And finally, to have the least weight and the least friction, a freestyle jump rope usually has a very thin cable. This one is pretty thick actually for a speed rope. Usually you just have like a metallic cable. So let's test the speed jump rope. Now it is very important for you to understand that with a speed rope you cannot go you cannot do the tricks you usually would with a freestyle cable and with a freestyle jump rope you can never go as fast as you would with a speed rope so here's my recommendation if you're someone that's really looking to use jump rope to train on your cardio and to train on your speed, to do some double unders and just as a warm up before your workouts, I would recommend you to go with a speed rope. The speed rope is really going to get the blood flowing in your system 
very quickly in a very short amount of time and is also going to burn considerable amounts of calories because you're just going really fast you're training on your cardio but if you are really fascinated by jump rope tricks like I am and really want you know you want to have fun you still want to use jump rope to warm up you still want to burn excess calories you want to skip the treadmill so you skip rope instead I would recommend you a freestyle jump rope the thing with the freestyle jump rope is that you can really do tricks but you can also go considerably fast you definitely won't be able to break speed records with it but you can very easily do double under and even triple unders if you train on it and also sometimes it's really fun to integrate speed with tricks by now you kind of should be like okay I'm more into speed I like to do double unders and I'm like into crossfit I do I do jump rope between my sets or something you, or you should know that you really enjoy using a jump rope before your weightlifting sessions uh, get some tricks done while also warming up and burning calories if you're still like really not sure and you're really suffering on the inside and I really feel like if you take if you pick one you're going to miss out on the second one honestly just bring both those jump ropes really aren't expensive we're not talking like a hundred dollar for each jump rope you can easily get those two in Amazon Canada or US for like less than thirty dollars which really isn't expensive for the benefit of each single individual rope with that said guys I'm going to be seeing you next time